Hey, Mr. Sherman here, uh, continuing on with Space Invaders, and I want to go over player projectiles now, how to get multiple of them. Because you've probably noticed, if you're just spamming the fire button, you just have the same one, just getting moved back to the beginning over and over, and it's frustrating. You want to have more of them. So, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to get myself uh, three of them for now, one, two, three, and I'm going to show us how we can get all of these to work. And as you see, it duplicates all these blocks. So I'm going to go to get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of that, and and you probably guessed it. We're going to have to make all of these things generic. So very similar to what we did here. I'm just going to call this, uh, and I'm going to call this player projectile list because we're going to end up having some enemy projectiles as well. Player projectile list. And get rid of that. Player projectile one, two, and again, give myself a third slot. Three. <clears throat> and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to, the first time we click fires, we're going to launch projectile one. The second time we're going to launch two. Third time we're going to click three. What's going to happen the fourth time is we're going to loop back and fire one again. So what we're going to have is we have these three projectiles we're going to keep looping through. So we're going to need a variable keeping track of our index position. So I'm going to call this player projectile index. And most, pro most programming languages, list start at zero. And here, list start at one. Get over it. That's the way it is. So what we're going to say is when we click fire, I'm no longer just going to launch player projectile one. I want to launch whatever is corresponding to my current index. So let's make all these generic. Make all of these generic. And as you guessed, we're going to get rid of all these. And how we can look at a specific position on our list is with this select list item. So it's going to say, let's look in my projectile list at this index. Look at my projectile look at this at this index. Oh, and one small correction I, I've, I almost forgot to mention. I had these flipped on accident in the old in the other video, and it was causing weird things to happen when they bounce off the walls. That's a great example of why we need to test. Just make sure you fix that. Sorry, back to what we were doing. Um, okay. So again, so look at my projectile list at this index. Make it enabled, make it visible, move it to where the player ship is, give it a heading, give it a speed. That's all great. But now we're back at the same issue where if we keep spamming it, we're just looking at position one, position one, position one. So every time we click fire, we need to make sure we're adding one to our index. And now what's going to happen is we're going to go one, two, three, and it's going to say we're looking at the fourth slot. Well, we don't have four. So let's build that in as well so it's smart enough to not do that. So we're going to say every time we add one to our index, we need to ask, is my index greater than the length of my list? And if it is, simply set it back to one. To look back at the first slot again. So now we have multiple projectiles. So now same thing here. Let's make this generic. And look, it converted all those to be generic for us. Look at that. So anytime any ball reaches the edge, the only ones are the player projectiles for now. Make them not enabled. Make them not visible. Let's do the same thing here. Make this generic. Boom. So anytime the ball, anytime any ball collides with something, boom, boom. So the beauty of that, that made all that stuff generic for us. Cool. And I think I'm going to do enemy projectiles in their own list because that is going to be a few steps. It's actually not going to be far from what we're doing here, but we're going to have to keep track of what enemies are active and such. It'll be good to keep it separate.
So cool. Hope that works. Hope it makes sense. Hope you enjoy it.